All right, Timmy here. Let's get the let's keep getting five to five jump floats. This little this little standing float to the middle of the court in 1817s is just not going to get it done here. I mean, it's a good serve, kind of. It has a good like float to it, and it's got low of a net, but jump float it. Just get a little bit of a hop, get some extra little thing. The guy dimes it. Perfect pass by them. Emmett, front your middle here. I know you're new, but we got a front. You're doing kind of now Peter's kind of hanging out. You should be right in this middle guy. Peter should be a little bit more this way. Be in front of this guy. I know you get a good touch right here a little bit. You get a little touch because the set kind of dies inside. If that was a normal good set, this ball would have been crushed down the seam straight down. And if you're over here, Peter, you got to grab him. If you know this is three, this is on you. Peter, this is on you. you got to grab him or grab the middle. Make sure they're with you, and that way you can get to your guy. You don't have to worry about this. Don't worry about this too much. This is your guy. So you're kind of leaning in there, helping Emmett. Emmett's, Emmett, this goes for every middle blocker, too. Every middle blocker. If you're this way and you're fronting, we put you at middle because you're athletic enough where you can go all the long way and be athletic if they do set back. So don't worry about fronting all the way right here just get this spot you have to close this ball this is, has to be your ball this is middle blockers ball play goes to me hey, hey, nice set to me <laughs> I know if the middle blocker is here at least try to like try to get the uh the middle, I know you're starting to set the libero, but the middle back, the outside hitter should set that ball. You can see, like, I know if you watch Ingepeth, sometimes they give it to him if they go to the setter a lot, and he does that kind of jump fake, and he does a lot of cool things. So, I mean, necessarily don't just give it to the middle. you got to know, you got to know who's in the game. So, Kyle, I know you made an easy dig, and it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to set the dig and give it to Jaron, but Jaron's not in the play. So, you got to worry about that. Before that play happens, you got to analyze each time who's serving, what's going on. I know it's a lot of information for you guys, but you know when the setter, when, sorry, when the middle blocker serves, there's no libero in. All right, so middle back, you got to set that ball. This ball comes inside super low. I mean, look where it is. It's super low inside. Still, don't drag that ball down. At least tip it or try to hit it off the top of the block to ricochet it off try to get it to ricochet and come off you know what I mean you're kind of just dragging it down a little bit this is a ball that we know is the, the like the libero is not setting the setter is not setting the middle blocker is setting we should be covering the crap out of this ball I mean literally we should be just waiting for this ball to get blocked so we can reset the play that in mind I mean guys are just watching Peter again. I mean, geez. I'm going to bring this up every single time. Standing. 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 Kyle's the only one that's actually down and ready. Because he probably knows that was a crap set. But I mean... The setter isn't setting the ball. We should be covering. It's an inside bad set. Our opposite. I mean, when I'm playing half the time, if you watch pro guys too, they try to block... They try to tap it off the block to get the ball back. So, I mean, if you didn't cover... You're going to get taken out of the game. That's, this is like literally a set play to get the ball back. So if I was Peter right now, I would tap this ball into the block and try to recover the ball so we can reset the play. If my team isn't even going to cover this, this is like one of the most basic fundamentals of volleyball. I mean, it's just we're not going to win rallies. Without winning rallies, you're always just going to go one for one on points. You're not going to break away from a team. I mean, I'm going to bring it up every single time. Every single video is going to literally just highlight you guys not covering. Ball gets blocked. Oh, that's interesting. The ball got blocked on a really bad inside set. Oh. Oops. Forgot about that. Okay. I mean, obviously, like I'm saying, if it's a bad set, I want to tap it off the block, so I want to cover it. We're going to work on that, but it's just something that you guys got to be obviously be aware of.